But first, it's a mystery that still haunts the people of Placerville. What happened to Roman Lopez? It's been nearly six months of silence after his disappearance and death, and both remain unsolved. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Placerville with the latest on this heartbreaking case, Anna. Yeah, guys, six months after Roman's body was discovered, look what's still here. The memorial in his honor that so many in the community cherish. Teddy bears and toys attached to the fence. When Roman's body was found near this area, people were desperate for answers. And it's been months now. Many feel like they're no closer to getting the truth. No charges have been filed. Placerville police still say they're waiting on a pathology report. That's the same thing they said back in February. Roman's death is considered suspicious and the FBI has been involved in the investigation. Now Roman's biological mom has since returned home to Wisconsin. We talked to a family spokesperson today who tells us it's been hard to wait for answers, especially so far away. You really want to be right there and have, you know, all hands on with them and help them the law enforcement any way that they can. Um, but yeah, so it's difficult doing it from thousands of miles away. Yeah, there's been a lot of community frustration with the lack of information. And despite all the distractions people are dealing with, like coronavirus, this case is still top of mind. And coming up at 6, I'll explain why Roman's family is asking people to be patient and support the police.